Okay, so let's talk about uh, delay. Third module, and uh, so third and the fourth is uh, more or less related to the delay. And I will request everyone just to understand this delay portion. If you are clear with the delay, delay concept, like what is delay, then uh, you can easily, very, very easily, you can solve all the problems. all the violations you can easily fix everything so when i'm going to discuss uh, the setup time hold time setup violation hold uh, violation or how we are going to fix the setup and hold violation at that particular time i will only discuss i will only talk about the delay the delay calculation like uh, uh, these are the parameters on which delay has a dependency so why can't you just uh, change this particular parameter if you want to understand sta sta is not just uh, the setup and hold most of the most of the people they think like sta is just a, a setup and hold so it's not a setup and hold sta is more or less about the delay so the way you are going to calculate the delay the way you can uh, make changes in your circuit so that your delay is going to change on the basis of that we do a lot of calculation you you should understand the delay portion if you are good in a delay calculation what are the different parameters on which the delay has a dependency you can very easily you can fix uh, any violation basically in the timing case so this is uh, all about uh, the delay if it is a uh, circuit so here you can see like uh, there is a snapshot of uh, a combinational circuit that is snap sure you can see like there are logic gates and there are net so what i have done i just divided it in a net delay and the cell delay so delay across the net that is considered as a net delay and any delay of a cell that is considered as a cell delay so now here you can see the delay the cell delay in place of single cell delay what i i have uh, just uh, highlighted input and output so all these input and output i have highlighted in this particular case because just right now in the previous lecture uh, we just discussed like okay it is the timing arc so every input and every output combination has a different delay value so when when we are saying the cell delay so cell delay is basically with respect to the input and output so if a cell has uh, two input that means there is a two combination two combination of input and output and every combination has its own delay but sometime what happen uh, you can see in the books or uh, in any problem like uh, they will just mention like a cell delay is a 2 nanosecond so if they are going to mention the cell delay is a 2 nanosecond that means what they are saying like if a signal passes from if a signal transmit from a and it reaches at y or if it will pass uh, transmit from b and reaches at y in a both the case the delay is a 2 nanosecond sometime we have a concept of uh, min delay and the max delay also so we will discuss that particular part in the next uh, uh, session next module so this is this is basically just a idea about the delay portion now here you can see like there are different nomenclature there is a different uh, type of delay certain like net delay wire delay interconnect delay so these are the same name for uh, same type of delay so like in a net delay you can also say this net delay wire delay interconnect delay so these three are, are the, almost the same thing slope delay transition delay so transition delay we will discuss what is a transition delay uh, just uh, it is basically the delay to change the state from one uh, the delay from 0 to 1 1 to 0 so that's a transition transition of a state that is a transition delay so similarly the slope delay so you will see like the slope delay transition delay rise delay falling delay all these are almost the same thing propagation delay then there are something known as a connect delay minimum delay maximum delay cell delay gate delay stage delay stage delay is something which you should know is the sum of cell delay and the net delay so like here 
I can say like okay, this particular net and this particular cell, I can add the delay of these two, and I can say like okay, this is my stage delay. So the concept of stage delay come into the picture when uh, we are going to discuss the timing report. So in a timing report, the very first uh, by default the timing report in the by default the report will come as a part of a stage delay. Then if you want to break that stage in the cell delay or the net delay, there is an option. You have to give an option like, okay, you need cell delay and you need a cell delay. So you can say like, okay, timing report, report timing minus uh, cell. So that means now you need the cell delay or you can say minus net. That means you need this net delay. So apart from the stage delay, they will also give you an idea. Okay, this is the cell delay or this is the this is the uh, net delay. So as such, there are different nomenclature, but more or less everything is around the net delay and the cell delay. That's all. So in a superset is a net delay and a cell delay, but in a subcategory, you can say like there are uh, different type of delay also like propagation delay, transition delay and all those things. So we will discuss all those uh, one by one like our uh, Facebook page, YouTube channel for more such updates. Thank you for watching. Be expert, buy expert. Best of luck.